My wife, Becca, yeah. is in college right now, and she's working through the courses and working with groups and working in software, and they're very specific about what software they use, and guess what they use in college? Yeah, yeah. Mi Microsoft Word. Of course they do. Microsoft Excel and all that kind of crazy stuff. And it's, that's what they learn on. And so we've, on the show, we've converted uh, LibreOffice into a more Microsoft Office similar Esque. layout. Yeah. So it feels more like Microsoft Office. And if, if you haven't seen that segment and you want free software, click the link below and that will take you to a video that shows you how to do that. Um, but lo and behold, Microsoft is in fact releasing their um, Microsoft Office suite in the cloud for free for users who have access to like Skype, for right. example, like who doesn't have a Skype account? I have a Skype account. So for me, it was really, really easy to be able to sign in to Microsoft Word online, for example. Um, and just kind of backing up just a little bit, I'll show you what, uh, what we encounter here. Uh, and I will post the links below, but here are the free Office apps online from Microsoft. So we've got Word, oh. Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. So I show you this because we've had the discussion, well, what if my files are not quite compatible with LibreOffice? Or right. what if I have trouble importing them into Google Docs? Right. Which I don't think you will. Like, keep in mind, if I go back to my shared spreadsheet here and I go uh, file open, I can in fact, like, I could actually browse to and I can actually open XLS files. I can actually open docx files and it will convert them to the cloud format. Right. So keep that in mind. We don't necessarily need to have the branded Microsoft product anymore. Right. But if they're going to provide it for us for free and you've got your Chromebook and my wife has her Chromebook and she's yeah. sitting at school and they're teaching in Microsoft Office and they're showing you how to do things in Microsoft Word. Right. And you're trying to translate that. My wife is trying to translate those steps into LibreOffice. And sometimes it's a little onerous because mm -hmm. the commands are not quite named the same. They're not exactly in the same spot. I have a question. Yes. Okay. So remember a couple of months ago, I had problems... Um, opening and printing some of the patient forms. It was like a doc file that was created in Word, but then you brought it up in LibreOffice and the checkboxes were in the wrong Yeah, they were like, they had like a little yeah. N with a accent, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, inside the box. Sure. So could I open that in the Word online? I'd love to know. I'd love for you to bring and in that file and give it a try and maybe report back in a right. week's time. Right, okay. Could you do that? I could do that. Oh, Remember everybody that. hold okay. her to that. Yes. Remind Those who me. are watching live, make sure you get into Discord. Remind Sasha two days before the next episode right. that she needs to test that and find out. I'm at work because it'll be best if I do this at work since it's a work question. All the files are there. 6.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Well, Monday and Tuesday. And then Sad story. Yeah. Sad story. So Overworked just, and underpaid. <laughs> right. Yeah. So just, yeah, <laughs> send me a message. I don't check my phone often, but I do sometimes okay. check it. Excellent. So okay. let's jump back to the Microsoft okay. product. So All right. I see you folks are still working away. Still working away. Don't put patient data on Google anything. Thank you for that. <laughs> of course. Okay. So here we are in Microsoft's product. Links are below. Uh, if you're watching this on cable TV, um, make sure you head on over to our website, category5.tv. This being episode number 594, you will find that episode of Category 5 Technology TV. And when I say the links are below, the links are below. Um, so right here, let's bring up Microsoft Word. Okay. And you're on a Chromebook. So right. remember, like things are moving into the browser. Mm -hmm. You've got Google Chrome on your Chromebook, so right. you can bring up Microsoft Word, which you can't traditionally install on Linux. You can't traditionally install, definitely not, on a Chromebook. Right. Yet, because of the technology of the browser and the cloud, we now have access to it through Microsoft Word Online. Look at that. So it even starts up with templates. Okay. So, you know, like, I don't know, bring up a... Bring up a basic template and here we go we're loading up word online and it's ready to go and this is <laughs> that needed to be that's a funny template you like that uh, well just <laughs> it's 
it's it's pretty it's basic. It's just really basic. It's a pretty basic. Like this is a bullet <laughs> list, folks. But we have a template for you. Boy, do we have a template for you. If you need to make a bullet list, we have a template for you. Add title here. List title. <laughs> Shopping list. Shopping <laughs> list. <laughs> oh, gosh, Sasha. But here we are. This is Microsoft Word Online, and it's saving to DocX files. If wow. I save as, I can actually download a copy. I can save it as a PDF, or I can even save it as an ODT. So now, open document format, I can save that and open it up in LibreOffice, and boom. Bam. It's already ready to go. Good. Right? Like it. Am I right? So, links below, uh, cat5.tv slash msoffice uh, is going to get you there as well. And uh, that's, I mean, that's kind of how things are going. That's right. what excites me about the cloud is that we no longer have to have high-powered computers. Mm -hmm. You know, like my wife's laptop, as much as I'd love for her to have the latest and greatest, most amazing laptop, it's getting a little aged. Right. But it's got Linux on it. Um, she's using the Chromebook as well. And to think that, hey, you can bring up these applications through your browser now. Mm -hmm. You don't need to have a very powerful system like you used to because right. everything's on their server. Which is perfect. As long as you have the internet connectivity, you're loading it from Microsoft's server. Right. If it was slow, if it was cl like clunky and janky, they would they'd be out of business because people would go nuts, right? <laughs> it has to operate really well. So it's going to operate well on my i7. It's going to operate well on your, uh, what, $125 Chromebook. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So that's all there is to it. So comment below about the cloud. What do you think? What are you excited about? And, you know, how could collaboration in your office and maybe even with your, your home usage of these, uh, of these capabilities of the cloud... Um, how is that going to impact your day-to-day -day on your computer? Cool stuff. Thank you.